Let's take a look at the Royal Navy's new dynamic duo, the HMS Queen Elizabeth and the F-35. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is the largest warship ever built for the United Kingdom's Royal Navy, capable of carrying up to 70 aircraft. Named after the first HMS Queen Elizabeth, which was a World War I era super dreadnought, she carries the Tudor Rose adorned crest and motto. Built to replace the Invincible class, which was retired in 2014, the Queen Elizabeth has more than three times the displacement and is 30% longer. Here are some specifications for the HMS Queen Elizabeth. One of the distinctive features of the Queen Elizabeth are her two island superstructures, one which is used for ship operations and sea navigation, while the other is used to conduct air operations. Each island serves as a backup for the other to provide redundancy in case of damage. Unlike most American carriers, the Queen Elizabeth does not have a catapult or arrestor wires meaning she is designed to operate short takeoff, vertical landing, or stovel aircraft and helicopters. The ship was in fact designed to operate the F-35B. In the fall of 2018, the Queen Elizabeth sailed across the Atlantic to the U.S. Naval Air Station at Patuxent River, where she would undergo initial trials with the F-35B. The F-35 is, of course, the fifth-generation joint strike fighter tasked with replacing many American and British fourth-generation aircraft. And while the F-35 program has been controversial since it first began, some consider the B version to potentially be the most successful, as it is the world's first supersonic stealth Stovall aircraft. The Stovall functionality is achieved by using Rolls-Royce's patented shaft-driven lift fan propulsion system along with an engine that can swivel 90 degrees to assist with short takeoff or vertical landing modes. While the F-35B can take off vertically, it saves much more fuel and can extend its range by using a ski jump system. This exercise marked the first time an F-35B took off using the ski jump method from a ship. And while using a ski jump to launch aircraft is nothing new, the Shipborne Rolling Vertical Landing, or SRVL, is. This allows the F-35 to land with forward speed or about 30 knots of overtake, meaning the F-35 can land with more fuel and weapons on board. The Queen Elizabeth and the F-35 were the first ever ship-aircraft combination to achieve this feat. Now let's take a look at some specifications for the F-35B. The F-35B carries an internal 4-barrel 25mm rotary cannon. Other weapons can be stored internally or carried on external pylons. The F-35B can equip just about every aircraft mounted weapon, giving it true multi-role capabilities. Some examples include, for air-to-air -air missions, 
the newer ASRAM or A132s. At medium ranges, the MBDA Meteor can also be used. For air-to-ground missions, AGM-88 Harms to suppress enemy defenses, SOM cruise missiles, and an entire complement of freefall bombs. Again, these are just some examples. Sensors include advanced AESA radar, data link, and advanced countermeasures. By pairing the F-35 with the Queen Elizabeth, the Royal Navy gains fifth generation stealth attack, strike, and fleet defense, all in one aircraft. With a planned complement of 36 F-35s and four helicopters, the Queen Elizabeth will be able to project power and deliver ordnance wherever it is needed across the world. What do you think? Is the F-35B the best variant of the Lightning? How advanced is the Queen Elizabeth class? Leave your comments below, and as always, please subscribe to keep seeing more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.